Now, I don't know why haters be telling me to mind my business when they're out here not minding theirs. Shut your mouth and enjoy the tea. We all know you're here for it, sis. <laughs> Hi, ninjas. How are you guys doing? It's a girl, I'm Shangone, a.k.a. Miss Fia for Call reporting back for entertainment. If it's the first time joining me, you're most definitely welcome. Please do subscribe and, of course, hit the bell. I absolutely love you. And, of course, uh, follow me on Instagram. It's at on Shangone. And today i'm finally going to do the video that you guys have asked me so many times oh mommy, why did you quit your job as a nurse <laughs> do you have to ask <laughs> no okay so i'm gonna go ahead and just tell you guys i'll try for this video to not be too long mm, but i'll go ahead and just give you guys a background so i grew up in a family that obviously you guys know i'm venda so yeah my father was a principal he has retired my mother was a nurse and she's passed away so at home like it's a it's a family filled with professionals like almost everyone is a professional they actually i'm the only person that is doing something that is out of the norm like you too my father up until i appeared on sabc2 used to think like i'm just playing and stuff like old man do you know if i showed you my pay slip i'm getting paid more than most people out here like but for him it's like no he doesn't give you like a pension fund this and this you know those kind of things so they were very much hell bent on you pass you go to university you do what you need to do and you get a nine to five you understand so anyway that's what happened i left uh, after I passed my metric and I actually went to Medunsa. When I got to Medunsa, guys, the main aim was I have to do MBCHB, which is medicine. And I think that is what most people actually going there uh, want to do. So I ended up having to be like, you know, on BSc. And so they said, you know what, if you study hard, when you're actually registering, if you study hard, um, your next year you're gonna change courses and you're gonna go to the place that you you know the course that you actually want if you're someone that is going to Medunsa next year you get there and they tell you that Mughal leave and reapply and come again the following year it is not easy I'm just giving you advice I don't know with other universities but I know with Medunsa unless if they've changed because it's been a long time since I left but wow <laughs> they do not play that one so obviously you know signed up what is it okay bsc it's fine though like you're gonna be credited other subjects and blah 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 Who? when i entered i realized uh yeah this thing that they're talking about is not there every single year you guys when it comes to mbchb most students like that they want to take down you like it's a lot of applicants that are applying and of course it's not everyone that wants to be on B in bsc and that's a fact because bs is kind of looked down upon like when it comes to midun side and if you're doing bsc you know what i'm talking about um so you know um i was like wow you know so as the year was going for us i applied applied mbchb applied bds and i also applied for uh bk so they were like, okay, you know, I didn't get in MBCHB and I didn't get in Go BK, I mean, Go, go BDS. And then they were like, okay, you know what, we're going to take you Go BK. Which, even that, you guys, the switch, I had to fight tooth and nail. I remember I was in the offices every single day. <laughs> like, hi, they were like, oh, well, then just put you on waiting list. You guys, like, I harassed them and then, obviously, like, I ended up doing nursing so the time that i was doing nursing when i started oh my gosh it was like a dream come true number one you would get you would be getting paid and it wasn't like peanuts you know um i mean for my five thousand six thousand rands you're still a student that was a lot of money however we did obviously used to work but it wasn't really that much it was really like nice you know it was like you get to have your own independence and everything like that but for me it was that whole thing of like whenever we go to the hospital i didn't i didn't like it and one thing i didn't like you guys was the fact that when i got to the hospital nurses some nurses were really like rude and not just rude to us as um uh student nurses because others were but um, they were mostly rude to like patients and i was like wow you know like whenever you're getting there like it's your first time actually seeing this environment of people that are sick on a daily basis you work with sick people 
and um you're there and you look at people that you in class you're taught you need to look up upon like you know you look up to them you need to be like them and i looked at them and i was like i don't want to be like these people and granted you guys like it was not everyone there were some sweet sweet nurses that it would be like completely crazy i feel like i was just introduced into a new world that i really didn't i don't know how to say this but i was not what i expected and i get it like i don't know what you would expect like you know you go to the hospital visiting people are sick but actually having to take care of people that are sick it was a lot more difficult than what you guys actually think nurses go through the most and of course i'm gonna go ahead and uh touch into like you know those things so at first when i reached the hospital you guys whenever i see someone struggling oh my gosh it would hurt me so much like i would be in pain sometimes this is a patient that is terminally ill so there's nothing they can do for them they're just waiting for them to die this person is in pain this person maybe the family doesn't even come to visit them it's just a shame it used to just be a lot of heartbreak day in and day out and honestly it was really just a lot for me now another thing again that i actually started realizing like when it comes to like classes and going to class honestly it was something that never used to bother me like i was fine with that going to class and of course studying and then that's it but when we had to go to the hospital it, it mentally was really just too much for me now the thing that i actually would say like the first time i actually realized that oh my gosh like something is seriously wrong because you get used to the to an environment i remember like you know we used to push like seven to seven uh those shifts so you'd work from seven o'clock in the morning to seven o'clock at night for seven days and then after that you'll be off seven days now that time obviously like our school um we were closed the varsity was closed so even when it's closed we used to have to go and work and so we went and we we're working that week and um i went like seven to seven remember you leave early in the morning you come back at night you're tired you sleep wake up in the morning is the same thing your whole day spent in the hospital and um when i was there you guys like okay everything was fine i was actually in the male ward now males men if any man is watching this y'all needs to go to the hospital <laughs> men never goes to the hospital you guys until like they are wheeled in and most of the times the situation is so bad sometimes it's things that can be prevented but because they actually find them a lot like you know late because they don't like going to the hospital they die unnecessarily so you need to be very careful <laughs> if you are having a problem go to the hospital like what's wrong go to the cleaning let them check you out and stuff don't just sit home so in male ward like you'll understand like it's mostly very quiet because people that are there that are like extremely ill it's not like when you're in the female ward and that time i was in surgical so the female ward like you know how we as women you feel something's not right you run to the hospital they may admit you but you're not like almost on your deathbed you know you're talking you're laughing so it's loud but male ward it's like quiet like very quiet and so i worked and after that i remember that i off like today the following day i went to pretoria like uh like cbd and of course that you know i just wanted to buy some stuff and i remember when i got off out of the taxi i was so annoyed you guys i was so annoyed i was like why are people so loud people were so loud people were laughing people were talking and to me you guys that was so strange i was like oh my mind is actually getting to that level where it's now vice versa because you being in a place where people are like oh, oh, like it needs to be a problem for you but it was no longer a problem for me i started to get so comfortable with that that it was okay and uh people being happy talking laughing living their lives that was now abnormal to me it was now a problem for me like i like it started hurting me and i was i felt like i'm losing myself you know i honestly like started just having problems when it came to that and of course the biggest issue for me death wow um people obviously were dying on a daily basis i don't know why i just did that people were dying on a daily basis you know george mukari hospital is a big hospital and so a lot of people would be coming in every single day and every single day people would be you know others are in others are checking out others are checking to heaven or hell one of the two so it used to be really be difficult you know you, you're taking care of, of someone and uh you know this person you laugh with them you talk with them and everything is fine and you you go back home 
tomorrow morning you come you check that bed oh it's empty you're like oh where is she they're like oh she's gone it's like you get to know these people but you never get to say your final goodbyes with them to them and i know it's strange because like you know you're, you're there supposed to just take care of a person but it's a lot more difficult than what people think because you are a human being that has got emotions which is why most people now would get to that level where their emotions are closed their emotions are blocked because they don't want to get hurt you get attached to this person you help them with your whole heart they pass away and you just like that's it you don't even have to say oh goodbye or nothing so it was really like something that was really just so difficult and especially like after my mom passed and i started struggling with depression that was actually when i really did leave um there was a time where obviously the time that they 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 uh deregistered me from the university i had to be working in the hospital so i was like kind of like working full time and then after that um i had to go back to school and then that was when i actually just walked out uh to be honest with you it was really like too much for me number one I, my heart was starting to change i didn't want it it was like now if i see someone sick i'll be like ah oh, you'll be okay you know like i had seen so much that when someone's like i'm having a headache i'm in pain i'm like ah it's nothing because i've seen worse um it's horrible honestly it's horrible and whenever people would pass now it used to affect me a lot more because now i'd felt the pain of my mom passing uh maybe when a woman passes away and their kids are calling i'll be the one running to the bathroom crying all the time because i'm like oh my gosh they're gonna be feeling the pain that i'm feeling um if you do not know me like i don't know how to even say this like i'm someone that i'm very strong very very strong trust me but at the same time um i i i have feelings <laughs> i don't want to say i'm a softie but i i have feelings you guys and uh it was really uh, like getting to my head it was like i'm gonna go crazy and not to talk about like the disrespect that we used to get from uh uh, uh patients wow patients can be rude you guys yo and they're out there like this is a person that will be cussing you out and after cussing you out you still need to help them because you're obliged to it's difficult nurses see the most and i feel like um the government really doesn't care much about nurses and it's because of number one um i think every single nurse needs to see a psychologist because the work that nurses do is really a lot you know you're out there busy picking dead people all the time you're out there busy like you know helping sick people that can't talk can't walk you help someone knowing this person is going to die there's nothing they can do for them and sometimes the patients say things that they stick with you like you can't even and on top of that not to mention guys like yo you need to change old people's diapers it's horrible i remember there were things that i would say you guys lunch i wouldn't even want to touch food and even though you're using like your gloves and everything like that it's really just so bad some nurses like you know they have used the needle to, on someone that is hiv positive and they accidentally use it on themselves and they get infected you are getting infected at work especially like i remember i got a lot of tricks from my mom because she was a nurse and she used to say like whenever you use a needle never like cap it because that is when like people would prick themselves so if you are someone that is a nurse or going into that never ever cap that needle okay because sometimes it will come and if the person is HIV positive then you need to go through the whole process and some people take it as ah no it's nothing can be it is something that they get sick some nurses obviously have gotten like TB you know whenever you're dealing with res like TB that is resisting medication is very strong they've gotten that they've died from that it's really just a lot it's like you are like a soldier that is not armed because people come into the hospital with whatever it is that they have you don't know maybe someone has got ebola you do not know you're out there who's the first person to catch it you sns it's like a lot you guys i thought of all these things and i another thing i do not even have to mention oh my gosh your feet oh your feet you guys would be tired painful you'd have to walk side by side 
I can tell you a lot of things you guys like honestly I, I think you guys like get where this video is going but um, it does have its own benefits and the benefits were like always I'd always feel so nice you guys knowing that like today I actually helped someone I did something good for someone that really needed it um, some pa patients were very pleasant some sisters that you'd be working with oh my goodness they'll just be a delight you know they'll be talking about life teaching us the youngsters they and whatever and i think with me because like i got engaged quite early um and i always had my ring so they always used to give me marriage advice even though their marriages failed but they used to give me good advice like you know i used to do this don't do this like this doesn't work blah 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 and it's like you you become sort of like a family you know you become sort of like a family but at the same time there are other people that are just really toxic you know um ah oh, it was just a lot man but i think like with every single job that you work you will get uh things that you don't like like with youtube i get people some Someone may comment something that can just wow <laughs> get my whole day from a hundred to a two but at the same time i feel like it's the kind of stress i definitely can handle more than like you know going to the hospital and on top of that like doctors think you are their assistant i do not know where it's written the nurse is your assistant i i really have got no idea i don't know if they teach them that nurses are your assistants because they'll be asking you get me my uh, gloves get me gloves uh boo that ain't on my scope please get me gloves and i'll go if i want to and i know they would always encourage like teamwork and everything but i felt like at some point some doctors really used to use us as like their personal um assistants and there were times where someone would be like hey get me a glove and i'll just walk away and i won't like do that and um because like i'm like uh, i didn't go to school to come here and be handing you gloves you can go ahead and get your own damn gloves it used to piss me off honestly it used to piss me off and um another thing again is like they don't pay that much like for the amount of work that nurses do i personally feel like nurses should be getting like 25 grand or above for the work that they do you guys it's a lot it really is and at most times nurses work with like short stuff so you do have more patients but you know the nurses would be very small there and now you guys have to change 40 people or like out of the 42 people that are in the world you have to change like 17 people's diapers imagine and maybe it's just the four of you so it's like you work two two so it's only two groups yo you are gonna change and change and change and change and change not to mention some patients um families will be coming out there but like you know making noise hey why is this person not you know this and they don't understand like if maybe someone was supposed to go and get operated they're not going to get operated because maybe they keep on postponing because of like the emergencies that are coming in they think as nurses we are the ones in charge of that we're not in theater we're not the doctors but it's us that are gonna be getting the heat honestly i think people do not appreciate nurses enough learn to uh, appreciate them and i do understand that some nurses that are really rude but at the end of the day i feel like they are mentally traumatized like i cannot imagine if my life was stuck being a nurse forever and remember i walked away without doing anything i wasn't doing anything when i walked away like it was really that that bad and i'm really grateful that my husband supported my decision my husband was like you know what my love just you know walk away because he could see like especially after my mom passed away my depression would just be high uh, whenever i have to go back to work i'll be crying i'll be horrible and whatnot and i was just very emotional at that time so I, some people I think they're not rude they're just bitter in life because you don't have any other choice unemployment rate is so high in South Africa you're stuck doing a job that maybe at this time you're tired of it but you don't have a choice because you need that money and again you need to still be working with people and it was really just a lot being a nurse is more than just wearing uniform and going to school it it really needs someone that is mentally very very strong and i'm mentally very very strong but i'm not strong enough to be a nurse and i just wanted to keep my sanity and i just wanted to keep my heart um 
and not that i'm saying this is a hard list as i said the others that are super super sweet but i will go ahead and say one thing you guys there was this other nurse she was so rude oh my gosh i remember like once we <laughs> we had it and she was like big right now she's like the matron there so the time that i was still in that ward and i was working with her we had a disagreement she had done something and when i asked she answered me rudely and so we went back and forth because i was also pissed um but i think it was like a day or two later like a patient that was in icu started like you know the machine started going off and of course like it meant this person is dying and i remember like she ran you guys she ran she ran jumped on top of the bed she was busy doing the cpr they were busy preparing this and this and at that time because it was my first time ever like seeing a situation like that i was so shocked but at the same time the amount of um i don't even know how to say this like she was determined to save this person's life and of course the person survived and i was so proud and i was like you know even though she's rude and mean but when it comes to like life and death she definitely goes for life because she could have been like ah, i'm not going to resuscitate this person i'm gonna just let them be but i was so proud of her you guys like she jumped on top of the bed like that woman i was like okay maybe i chose the wrong one to fight with if she jumped me it would have been a problem but at the same time, I'm just like, you know, uh, you guys may see like nurses sometimes being rude and everything. When it comes to life and death, these people are saving people every single day. So you being nice to a nurse, trust me, it goes a long way. Because you being rude to someone that has been dealing with rude people will not make them nice, will not make them work well with you. So that's all I just have to say. That's the reason why I actually quit my job, you guys, as a nurse. It was a lot. It was a number of things. My mom passing was like the nail in the coffin. Uh, it was really just too much for me. But I'm really glad that I did nursing and I actually, you know, know certain things that I do know and everything. Um, every life experience we go through, I feel it teaches us or we learn something from it. So I learned a lot, a lot, 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 lot. Oh my gosh, I can't even like I learned a lot honestly i wouldn't even take it back um it also did teach me and make me see that i cannot be a doctor think people that are sick every day guys it 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 plays with your mind Woo! it plays with your mind okay like i've not been a nurse now for for years and there are certain situ scenarios and things that happen that sometimes i'm like i have nightmares you know um it's really just so bad hey but um i'm grateful to god that you know i'm where i am today and i get to do what i really really love and i feel like everything pushes you to go to where you're supposed to be so this is where i'm supposed to be you know gossiping people <laughs> And I know, like, you know, my family never understood. Everyone was on my back. Like, why are you quitting? I have the best husband in the whole universe because he was the only one that actually stood with me because he saw I was really struggling. If he was someone that would have been like, no, you can't quit, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure I would have still been there and miserable. Maybe right now, probably killed myself because, wow, it was really a lot. So, you know, now thank goodness that I'm sane and everything is actually okay. So, that is the reason why you guys the video got long but it's okay um i don't think there's anything that i actually forgot i think these are the most important things if you guys would like to hear stories like of me like the things that have happened when i was a nurse and go ahead and do them as long as i obviously i'm not gonna disclose people's names and patients and stuff but um yeah there was a time that we were visited by ghosts in the hospital you guys i'm be absolutely bony yay <laughs> but um yeah anyway i love you guys so much stay blessed and of course i'll see you guys in my next upload bye my ninjas